Layers of lava rock have covered the land at this Oregon attraction for many millions of years. Found in these formations are records of climate and life that were once present here. Over time, new fossils are uncovered that teach us more about each time period. Enjoy learning from the layers of life and destruction at the John Day Sheep Rock Unit. The John Day Fossil Beds National Monument is at a remote area in eastern Oregon. The monument is scattered into three units, Painted Hills, Clarno, and Sheep Rock. Sheep Rock Unit has the main visitor center as well as many other points of interest. In the previous video we covered the Painted Hills Unit. The different colored hills showed us a history of changing climates. By the way, drones are not allowed at the monument, so any aerial shots were taken from outside the park boundary. While the monument units are scattered, the area between them is worth visiting too. The river, monument, and town are all named after John Day, who was on an expedition to the Pacific Fur Company post in Astoria. His party had many tough experiences, including being robbed where the John Day River meets the Columbia. After a while, people kept mentioning John Day's troubles when passing that spot, and it was named after him. John Day River is important to the monument as it helps to erode different ages of rock layers and expose new fossils. We will explore the Sheep Rock Unit from south to north. Right at the entrance of the monument is Mascal Overlook. Mascal is the prominent volcanic formation in this outer basin, formed around 15 million years ago. A violent volcanic period created Mascal Tuff, followed by other layers of volcanic ash. These layers show change in climate as well as different fossilized species of plant and animal that lived there. Thanks to what was found in these layers, we know that this dry landscape was once a grassland with mixed hardwood forests. One fossil found here was the bear dog, also known as a tephrocycon. The tephrocycon was a carnivorous dog that had a jaw and teeth well suited to crush bones. The overlook also has a view of the entrance to Picture Gorge. The Picture Gorge basalts seen in this canyon have 17 layers of flood basalts. Much larger than this canyon, the Picture Gorge basalts cover 2,500 square miles. With the high cliff walls, many of these rock layers can be seen when entering the Sheep Rock Unit. Picture Gorge basalts can also be seen at some of the peaks around John Day. The largest section of the monument has many different points of interest. A place with historical significance at Sheep Rock is the Cant Ranch. In early 1900s, James and Elizabeth Cant purchased this land and ran a successful sheep farm. Their hospitality was well known and needed as a stop for those traveling to and from the Columbia. It was a sheep ranch primarily, but also included an orchard and wheat fields. By the late 90s, the Cant Ranch had grown to 6,500 acres and it was sold to the National Park Service. Though it was a sheep ranch, Sheep Rock got its name from something else. 
A trail from the Cant Ranch leads to an overlook of the main rock formation of the Sheep Rock Unit. The Sheep Rock Unit gets its name from the single peak, which is made up of multiple John Day formations, topped off with picture gorge basalts. Rather than the Sheep Ranch, the peak is named for the bighorn sheep that once populated the slopes. As the west became settled, the bighorn sheep disappeared from Sheep Rock. In recent years, bighorn sheep from overpopulated areas have been taken and reintroduced to John Day. After seeing Sheep Rock Peak, there are many other ancient rock formations that can teach us about the ancient history of this land. Across the street from Cant Ranch is the monument's main visitor center. Thomas Condon Paleontology Center is the best place to get information about the John Day formations. Here you can see and learn from what has been found in the John Day rock formations. Thomas Condon was a 19th century geologist who first recognized the significance of the John Day fossil beds. Inside the Paleontology Center are hundreds of fossils that show a variety of life. This is also a good place to learn about the formations of John Day. The sedimentary layers tell a story, with the youngest being on top and oldest being on the bottom. Different strata can be found all around the monument, each coming from a certain time period. Murals were created to show what life looked like during each time period. Thanks to the study of fossils, we are able to get all of this information that would otherwise be lost. There is a paleontology lab that continues to research fossils found at John Day. Over time, the John Day research team continues to discover more fossils as new rock is exposed. The north end of Sheep Rock has some hiking trails to get up close with more rock formations. On the way to the next stop, Goose Rock is passed by. Goose Rock is a conglomerate that indicates the area had a river flowing into an ocean basin 80 million years ago. Blue Basin explores some interesting blue-green rocks that come from the Turtle Cove Formation. Island in Time and Blue Basin Overlook are the two trails that explore this colorful area. The Island in Time name hints at how the fossil beds show memories of ancient life exposed by erosion. As time goes on, this rock erodes and more islands in time are discovered with new fossils. Fossils of extinct species have been found, such as the Oreodon, which is described as a mixture between a sheep, pig, and camel. With so much more wildlife in past climates, predators such as the Nimrvid flourished. Nimrvid was a vicious, saber-toothed cat-like carnivore that is now extinct. The Island in Time Trail ends in a large amphitheater display of the Turtle Cove Formation. The Turtle Cove Formation came from distant eruptions from the west around 30 million years ago. Life here ended for a period of time before a new life would come back to the area. The rock and ash mixed with water to form the blue-green mineral you see today called selenite. 
These cliffs continue to erode naturally, exposing more fossils. As this formation preserves a span of about 5 million years, the fossils show a large variety of life. A majority of the museum fossils came from the Turtle Cove formation and more continued to be found. There is a gap between monument sections of Sheep Rock. Up north is a hiking area with two trails. Between sections of Sheep Rock unit is Cathedral Rock. This rock is interesting because the different colors and layers you can see on top of each other. The blue-green rock from Turtle Cove is topped with a younger formation called the Kimberly. The northernmost section of Sheep Rock is called the Foray. Two short and easy trails explore more layered rock formations. The Story and Stone Trail is surrounded by more of the blue-green Turtle Cove formation. 50 million years of volcanic eruptions buried the landscape and life in the John Day Basin. Today, scientists study the different rock layers and piece together the geologic story captured in time. The John Day Basin is special because it has one of the longest and most continuous fossil records in existence. The Flood of Fire Trail gains a bit of elevation until reaching a wide viewpoint. The many rock layers were each their own lava flow, with taller ones indicating much more lava and destruction. The dark layers above are ignimbrite from the Picture Gorge Formation. Floods of molten rock flowed across different climates and destroyed everything. Over time, life came back to the land and the cycle of life and lava floods continued. By today, there are 61 layers of lava flows counted in these canyon walls. The Sheep Rock Unit is a great place to visit and learn about our ancient history. The John Day Formations are records of what life was like during different time periods. Destructive eruptions forever changed the landscape, but also made room for new life. The rock formations of John Day show us layers of life and destruction. Next time we will explore the Clarno unit of John Day. This third and final unit will get up close with many fossils.